Hi, good afternoon. Welcome. This will be Football Made in Ghana for City TV. This will be the first episode of the new calendar year. So, Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you so much. Say you tuning. tuning. I hope say, the holidays go well. Give everybody. I mean, if you know go well, give you dog. 2023 end. We did 2024. We did prep for the AFCON. So, this show will be very, very heavy on the AFCON. So, if you get anything, tell we are back. Send me a message via the WhatsApp number for your screen top and then we go try read the messages before the show go and today there will be afghan we go talk black stars we go discuss them our group we go discuss them our farewell dinner we go talk about the black stars we go try plot them a chance for Cote d'Ivoire. they go if it succeed it go be where they go reach group stage round of 16 quarter semis or they go go all the way i don't know what your predictions be but if you get anything talk i beg take send me via the whatsapp number for your screen top a little later in the show we go have um a very interesting conversation for, uh, plus Jeremy Frimpong, agent. And if you know Jeremy Frimpong, a few months ago, you know, a name pop up say potentially go for play give Ghana, but ultimately, you know, he go play give the Dutch national team. But he get plenty of projects they do for Ghana. So we go talk about in relationship with Ghana, then we go talk about in projects what he won't do, give some of the young footballers for this country. So, you know, say some of the Dutch players, Memphis Depay, for example, it's right, they come down, they can't jump, they can't chill, they can't do one or two things, give uh, the people of Ghana. So more of these players they and Ghana get some special relationships. So we go talk about Jeremy Frimpong in relationship plus Ghana a little later for the show top. So as you see, you know, th today there will be very loaded show, very, very packed, heavy on the black stars as that the prep give the Afcon for Cote d'Ivoire. We're gonna take some very quick break. And if we come back, my guests go make ready, then we go start the show. This will be football made in Ghana for City TV. We go come back right here, make you not go anywhere. Welcome back. This is Football Made in Ghana for City TV. My name is Nathan Kwa. Once again, make I introduce the guest for today. First up, Gabi Offer. Gabi Offer, my colleague for the City Sports Desk uh, talk. So we go to, he, he'll be one of the guests we challenge. Mr. Kwa. Mr. Kwa. Happy, <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, my guy. Yeah, this will be the first episode yeah, first show, yeah. of the New Year. And uh, next up, uh, Yao EJ Minta, also of the City Sports Desk. Then we for shuffle the cut inside quick 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 <laughs> then bring yeah all right make you go to the zoom top make you go to the zoom top my very good friend john boafo uh they could have they joined me john hi good afternoon hi nathan greetings from uh, the ivory inside of the border <laughs> it's cloudy day all right yeah, john, john. Okay, all right. Thank you so, so much. Uh, like I talk, later on, Jeffrey Lament could join. Jeffrey Lament be a um, Jeremy Frimpong agent. So he could join me a little later on the show. We could discuss Jeremy Frimpong. Guys, welcome. Gabby, oh, thank, yeah. you. Thank, thank you. Cool. Thank you, thank Mr. you, thank you. So you guys jammed the holidays. Child. Oh, oh small jam, I mean. But stretch your legs more. Child, I, I, get, I, get, I get your entire run down. Oh, we run out. Here be Rosai. Here be Rosai. Yeah, so be Rosa. we could discuss. Yeah, make you close the show. Boy. Hey. <laughs> yo, yo, anyway, so the Black Stars, they right now they, they, they go fly. I should say by this time, they already fly. Yeah, they left. They, they, left. Go, they fly. Yeah. They fly go Abidjan. They fly go Abidjan. They, they go play the AFCON. It go start this weekend. So many questions there around the Black Stars, whether or not Chris Hutton picked the proper squad. Plenty questions there, but make we see the squad where they take go the AFCON. They confirmed 27. They confirmed 27. So this is the Black Stars and my official squad with the carry go. I, you can't say a few weeks ago, we draw the time they named the provisional squad. Yeah, yeah. We named some, we go through the list, the players they go day inside. At first glance, guys, any surprises, any name day here with Ishok boys say Charlie? Uh, yeah, Ransford's Connex Doffer. Connex Doffer. Ransford, yeah, boy, Connex Doffer. Because they give her multiple chances, say, he go play for the Black Stars. Like, they get collapsed, dancers. Mm -hmm. But I come on, you know they get uh, select, you know they get some play. Yeah, get some play. It be yeah. the Liberia game where you get some play small, you know, yeah. really uh, standouts be like that. So me and Shock say it, it still get chance where you make the squad. Okay. Where did they are you too? Yeah, did they are you too? But why? They shot me small. Capito. Yeah. It's a capito. capito. Yeah, but Capito, the thing they say it gets club. That be the thing now. They want more. Yeah, they worry get, more boys. Yeah, get it get club, but as it get club, now how many minutes he play for that? For the, the game he make available, like what thirty one minutes? Yeah, because the first game he come no way, Charlie. He get red card, so he <laughs> chop another two game suspension. Where he come back later now, then play one game with the 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 French league, then go break. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So you know we get game time like that. So if you they talk about game time and. Um, 
uh, minutes, more players, especially the alpha players, because the goalkeepers they are more and they don't get playing time. <laughs> but the alpha players, yes, if it be uh, game time, if they take judge, then base um, call up on her. Then they are, you know, for day inside. But I mean, you know, these things, it be multiple, pl it, it be plenty. Plenty reasons they uh, why then the call up players. Uh huh. So, so, so sometimes to go through talk, say, in politically, in aligning body, jet. Uh huh. So in when the score, the football, it be political. Oh, party. politics day inside. Oh, politics day inside. <laughs> Yeah, when it comes politics inside, and the day you there, it be A plus. Yeah. He day inside. He be A list. He be A list. If he be Hollywood actor, he be A list. Uh -huh. But he, he be exams with the writer, he get A plus. Get so a plus. He, sometimes he day inside way, he make the I list. See. But aside these two, yeah, everything be normal. Everything then sometimes normal. maybe King's Lishin Lab. But it be normal. It be normal. Yeah, be. Apart from these two. <laughs> Nathan, no surprises. None of the names. No, I know they surprise me. You know why? Why? Make it, make it take, um, what, the last AFCON we go for <laughs> Cameroon. Yeah. It was a Milovan rival, <laughs> right? All the way to the last tournament before this, that's Qatar. <laughs> and now to this tournament <laughs> with, the, with, the, with the goal. If you look at this 27-man squad, Houston core, <laughs> if you want to start looking at it from these players who played or the last call-up that was called for the AFCON in Cameroon and all the way to Qatar and now, Eight to ten of these players have made this final squad. Uh -huh. You get it. So if you are the talk, say Andrea, you then Ransford Konisdorfer, the shocker one. Uh -huh. Me, not the shock me. Uh -huh. Yeah, for the fact, say Konisdorfer hasn't seen enough uh -huh. minutes. Yeah. Understandable. Same with Ayu. Uh -huh. But Hilton always go go with um, a squad he's familiar with. I Maybe see. the only surprise I would talk is say um, Richmond Lamptey because they are the things say. His call up into the national team was based on the media push ah, and probably the protocol fraternity. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. you know what I'm no, I don't think. I know. That, to be honest, this is my opinion. I don't feel like. I, I don't think which one Lamte has got something extra. Ah, okay. Oh, but yes, this, he's this he bought for inside, this squad inside. He doesn't need. You know, they need any. He da, you know, they need say it could be extra. Exactly. Uh -huh. oh, he, he, bought, fit he into, bought for. He fit into some big hole before the team inside. Okay, so so if you say it did solve some problem, it did solve some problem. Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. he yeah, bought for you, Kotoko. You yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, he did force give <coughs> Ogum the things. He one of the senior right. players for the Kotoko set up inside. But if you look at <laughs> if if you look at what if you look at Lamte's in qualities, I think for the midfield there we get players with and get similar qualities. I see somebody okay. who loves to drive the ball forward. <coughs> Ashimaru can do that for you. So. Mm -hmm. Me that me surprise not really the inside. Surprise not the inside. Me but I get one surprise. Okay. How Nicolas Opoku make this team? <laughs> that means I get problem plus one more. Uh, Nicolas Opoku. <laughs> but but here yeah, they talk. Nicolas Opoku he, played the they last around, round. They are around. Against the Liberia for a class yeah, possible. Yeah, he always did. He they play give black stars. Yes. Yes. He, he question mark big one. Apart day. from the Liberia game, we spoiled it. Why be Liberia? Why spoiled the game Liberia? Spoiled the game Liberia. You don't see Capito in catcher again. Like yeah. 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 But I think we say Which one I'm telling you on it. Black Stars hold the inside. The creativity bit no. I see. If Jay Ashimaru for insider, who way did that list inside where if he play vertical pass, and if he break, and if he play pass where it is split uh, defenders, and, and they back. Okay. Players no day inside like that. So Rich Monam said, yeah, if he come inside, me you know they shot me. Really because shot yeah, with the here in creativity and number two, where they play for, it they matter. You won't tell me say Spain inside. Better players no day when they play more minutes past uh, Nacho Rodriguez. Uh -huh. But if they play for Real Madrid, no. So it get it get cachet. The club in reputation. It get cachet. That way, how come every time be a, you know they play better minutes be a, but you still they make the Spanish national team. Okay, all right, interesting. Um, John, if you can hear me, your thoughts on the the twenty seven man team that Chris Hutin put together. He actually named the fifty five provisional man squad, and this is the squad he's chosen to come and visit you and every other person in Cote d'Ivoire. Your thoughts on on the Black Star squad? Yeah, I mean I. I, um, I don't think there's really any major upsets or major um, surprises in this squad. Okay. Uh, we, yeah. What we can say that, I mean, since 2021, I've called squad, there's only about 11 players that have stuck to there. And it's really a, a team that shows that Ghana is in a transition phase. Um, if you look at it, they're really rebuilding the squad. And um, to go back to the 
the point of Andrea Yu. He, he's the one who has the most experience. And okay. that's one of the things that we're lacking. We're lacking experience. So having him in the squad makes sense. Although he just recently signed at, at Le Havre and he, he, ha he got that red card, like you mentioned, and he hasn't <laughs> played much. But it was important to have him because international football is very different. International okay. football is very different. And the experience of playing in international tournaments is something that is key. Mm. Um, to being able to perform as well. So having him in the squad is the most important thing to have. Mm. All right. Thank you. Thank you, John. So, um, guys, so, so that would be the squad. I don't know if the Gofi flashed the squad again. Just put the squad back on the screen. Uh, so so that would be the three goalkeepers, the defenders, well, apart from Pesna and Nicolas Opoku, the rest, yeah. Wingers, very interesting. More kudos. We know there's some question mark day on them because then it get injured, yeah, but yeah. it's that train. So yeah. hopefully it will make fit for um, the, the, the weekend game. Nyama, Bukhari, the others. Forwards, interesting then. The midfielders, midfielders. All right, make we talk about the Black Stars, the my games for the competition. So at least Ghana go play three games. The day in Group B, they go take on Cape Verde, Egypt, and Mozambique. Guys, those be the three games where Ghana go play. So this is the Black Stars, the Machado. For those where, you know, if they want, you don't know when Ghana they play. So Ghana they play on the 14th. 8 p.m. Yeah. Then they play Egypt on the 18th. So this will be the, <laughs> this will be the yeah, this Sorry. game. Then Mozambique. Yeah. So some boys, for some people, they have permutation inside. If you go fit clock, three points, three points. This one, so hey. Yeah. If the Egypt, if Egypt take, you yeah. are. <laughs> go be the other way around. But <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, um, so quick thoughts. They on. go fit qualify. Ghana go fit qualify for this. Nah, it'd it be difficult. Okay. Yeah, Ghana's chances be difficult to qualify. Not because another thing say the squad not be good enough, but because yeah. I they look at Chris Hutin, what he's done mm -hmm. with the national team in the last mm -hmm. nine games or ten games he's played. Uh -huh. With the struggle, they score goals. Uh -huh. At the same time, with the concede, uh -huh. which be very bad. I mean, I if you want to look at another thing, that's rankings. Mm -hmm. Every time we face, I mean, if you look at Hutin's, Hutin, the teams where he faced, even teams where they rank below we self, we they struggle. Uh -huh. Now, make a look at Kivet. Kivet, on the FIFA rank, they are ranked 71st, heading into the AFCON. Mm -hmm. Mozambique be 111. Uh -huh. Egypt did a top 10 inside. I think top 11, yeah, 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 top yeah. 10. Top 10, top 10. It, be sim it, it, it tells you that Hilton, based on the, the teams he faced way with the struggle mm -hmm. against them to break them down, the same thing is likely to happen. So you won't talk to you. We go fit. We go get problems against all these we teams. We go get problems against all these teams. But somebody go talk to you. It be tournament. Oh, yeah. You don't need to be scoring much to win games. Uh -huh. And like I always talk, we know Hilton for a certain style of play. Mm -hmm. The time he the coach for Brighton, mm -hmm. then he know the score much. He wasn't playing expansive football. Uh -huh. He know they break teams down. He they, he they sit deep and they hit teams on the break, uh -huh. on the counter. Some 1-0 will be them things. But he come the national team, mm -hmm. it'd be a different story. Mm -hmm. The last time Hilton scored three goals against t countries where they rank below, we'd be against Liberia. We'd be friendly. Namibia, hundred and round hundred and fifteen. Then we pre afcon friendly. Everybody mm -hmm. they hope say, oh, we go. But that be the recent, them. Uh, the recent yeah. match. We go yeah. score them again. I think it's over. Then again, the way we <laughs> they create chances where we know they feel buried. Now if you look, if you look at the call up where he calls, I make even put one eye on the strikers or the forwards. It be only Jonathan so will be like your proper out and out centre forward. Inaki Williams, Jordan Ayu, um, Ransford Konezdorfer, Osman Bukari, Joseph Pinto. No, make I know if you add the wingers. Make I even just the strikers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Inaki Williams, Antoine Semenyo, then who? Mm -hmm. um, Jordan Ayu. Yeah. All these players, they're not the proper centre forwards. <laughs> uh -huh. The records are there. If you go check Jordan Ayu, what he do for 2023, he never played as a forward. The every time he did play as a right wing. Uh -huh. That'd be where he defines him for. Inaki Williams. Uh -huh. The only time he played for as a centre forward, just once. Every time he's been played on the wings. But in the score, and if, if the you can't the Black Stars, at the season, yeah, there are days when Hilton, they try, they put on for the flanks. Then he go cut in, try to make what he do for Athletic uh -huh. Global. But I know they were given. So if, now the big question is, who will score the goals give we? Hey. No, if you want to beat Cape Verde, if you want to beat Mozambique, then pull draw against Egypt. Who will score those goals give we? <laughs> No, it'd be, it be legit question, Mr. Kwa. I see. Who will so, score the goals give we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the That's goal. why they talk something. Ah. Uh, <sighs> hmm. uh, the thing we say, yeah, if 
we, if we qualify, oh yeah, me and go shock. Yeah, me and the CCA will qualify, but it be the round of 16 where, yeah, Matadi. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, aside the top two, they will qualify. The best performing third place team mm -hmm. also get a chance. Mm -hmm. That's for, why. For, for just, I mean, for context, for our, for our viewers, we don't know the Bab. The, the tournament be 2014. 2014. Yeah. So they start playing 2014 teams from 2019. Yeah, yeah. So this is the third time yeah, they yeah. play 2014. Yeah. Now, in the 2014 tournament, this is what they happen. Six groups day. Now, the top two for each group go qualify. So you go make what? 12, 12 teams. 12, yeah. Yeah. Left of course, four. you know, if you progress with 12 teams. Yeah. So, so now they go pick four of the third place teams where they, where they, they form. So if you like, you get four points, maybe five points, sometimes yeah. three points. Yeah. 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 You go fit. Then go but the problem, the counts, then. Then is, but the problem is that usually, if you go there that side, <laughs> you go go your, meet your somebody go me and you. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, go me and you. And that's why the talk say the round of 16, that's where they say Ghana go rich. Yeah, Ghana go rich. And that's why the 2021 half corner, if they bore me, say, we don't feel qualified. Because we, we get one chance say we go qualify as group winners. We get the second chance say we go qualify as um, runner up for the group inside. When we get third chance, we will qualify as one of the better performers, uh, 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 the third place uh, performance. We will bottle them against uh, Comoros. All now we need, even if we draw safe for that game inside, yeah, like it go be now say we go qualify. Where we, we are, we no feel win. Where are we no feel draw. Where we go, we go lose. Where we chop last. Where we come out. So this group there, oh yeah, me again, we say we will qualify. Okay. But it be after we qualify, you no, know, that where mm. me, my vim they look because. I don't, I don't get them like that for the team saying they go, they go, go semi-finals, final, or even quarter-finals if they go safe and then try. Mm, I see. Let, let me get to the John. Uh, let me get to the Zoom. John, I, I'm sure you're still with us. Um, your thoughts on, yeah. on Ghana's group, if, if I had to push you to the wall to make a prediction in terms of how well Ghana will do in the group, what would you tell me? Do you think Ghana can qualify out of the group? Can you even hazard a guess as to how many points Ghana could potentially get in that group that has Cape Verde, Egypt, and Mozambique? So, Gabby made a very important point that we haven't been scoring lots of goals. Yeah. And that's one of the main issues that we have with our squad right now. We don't see, you don't really have any score, someone who will score a lot of goals. But I'm confident that we'll still be able to make it out of the group. Mm. I think that what's really important is the first game that we have. We have to do all we can, even if it's just a 1 0 or a 2 1 or something. We need to do the best okay. so we can win that game. And then the key crucial game is the Egypt game on the 18th. Half of Accra has contacted me. You know, they want to come to support the team for, for, for this match. <laughs> and it's a key match. We need to, at the best, not lose that match. You know, if it's a draw, it'll be all right. And then we need to be able to to do what we can, perform well as well for the third game so that we can make it out of the group. I'm confident that we'll make it out of the group. Uh, but then how far we go is <laughs> Interesting. Let, let, let me stay with you on, on, on that point. You are talking about confidence. Now, the Black Stars will play two out of the three games in Abidjan. The two mm. grounds, the, the, the grounds that will host their first two games are not too far apart. Just looking at it from an outsider's perspective, how important do you think it is for them to play in Abidjan the first two games? So, you know, they are not moving about that much. How, 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 how important do you think it will be? I think they, they play their first three games in Abidjan. How important do you think it yeah, will be to, to stay in Abidjan as they navigate at least the first two or three games of the tournament? I think it's key because most Ghanaians that live in, uh, in, in Ivory Coast live in Abidjan. So you just the other day, I went out to have dinner and I met a guy who has been living here for 35 years. Yeah, yeah. So the community of Ghanaians that live well, in Ivory Coast are and mainly in Africa. So they'll be able to come and then also support mm. the team. Mm. That's the first point. The second point is they'll be staying at the, um, the hotel that they're staying at. It's the Pullman Hotel. Okay. And it's literally about 500 meters away from the stadium that they're playing in the first two games. Okay. So they won't have something of, you know, traveling for long distances. They'll be there, they'll be used to the environment, and it'll be easy for them to access the stadium and then perform. So well, they're really going to be put in the best situation for them to perform, mm. and hopefully they'll be able to perform. I think it wouldn't have been the case had they been playing in Korogo, which is the north, had they been playing even in Bwake, which is a little bit 
in, in the north as well. But mm -hmm. being in Abidjan with the support of the Guineans that live here, the Guineans who are going to take the bus, the plane, the boats to come and also support them, <laughs> I think we'll be able to put forward in the group. Interesting, interesting. Thank you, thank you, John. Just, just stay on. I'm sure in our subsequent shows, we'll, we'll talk a bit more about the facilities. Maybe not today, but when the Afcon Daily Show starts, we can talk a bit more about the facilities. Guys, so, so that'd be John. Yeah. John talks some very interesting points. He said, yeah. a good say the Black Stars Day, Abidjan. Mm -hmm. The fans go, we not say some strong Ghanaian community day that yeah, side. Yeah, they go yeah. come. More Ghanaians go, go, go watch the game. I know some people wait, Charlie. They already, they come, they need to get and things. Boys won't go. How much support or how important support go be for the team especially as they know say the support from here dear Charlie boys <laughs> don't have any hope but still people go go watch them and you see that's the most funny part say you go hear Ghanaians and they talk say oh black stars you know they watch them my games but people go watch them but <laughs> if you organize black stars in Kotoko people will go watch them support and it's we for, for just applaud Ghanaians for that because if you want to look at the performance of the Black Stars in the last few games they play, they're not they perform. But still, Ghanaians, they go support the team. Abidjan, they will be very close. People just go feed trooping, then go support them. Today, they are the listening Charles and Mofa, who will be the PRO yeah, yeah. for the uh, Ministry of uh, youth, youth and Sports and also the NSC. Where he they talk, then they base about how many supporters they will carry go there. Then I think he they talk about 5,000 or something like that. Not, not too sure what was it. But it be key to give the Black Stars. And I think. He would think we need this support, especially in whatever he won't do for, for there. I mean, you go get other people where they did already to where they go support the team. So I think support here be very key, give the Black Stars. But like John Thok, then they play most of them against for Abidjan. Yeah. That they cut away fatigue and that kind of thing. And where it be positive, give the team. Because mm. you don't want to be traveling around so much. Where match they, they in stress. And it, 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 it go be on the team to really put out a mm. very good shift against. Because the first game, against Keverdi be key. The first start right, against Keverdi. If you go lose against Keverdi, we they go play Egypt. Make you not forget, say, Egypt be last, the last edition, then get the finals, then get to the finals, we then lose to Senegal. Yeah. This time around, they would like to get to that place again. So the Black Stars for really start right against Keverdi, get a good result against them, then go to the Egypt game and try and get, on paper, Egypt go be favorite. And you can't go into that game where they go beat Egypt outright and then qualify. Probably a draw or something. Then you see how the Mozambique game. So I think the support here, mm -hmm. it really key give the Black Stars. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Let me let, make, a, make a catch John one last time before we let him go. John, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Wonderful. Just finally, before you go, you were talking about the proximity of the stadium to the team hotel. Just a quick note on the training facilities. I don't know if you've seen, but do you have an idea where the Black Stars will be training as they are in Abidjan, at least for the group stage? What condition it's in? And just the importance of just having all of these things in the city centre quite close to the team. Just a few words on the, the training facility. I don't know if you've seen it, though. Okay, so I've been to several training facilities. Um, they built about 13 training facilities in Abidjan and mm -hmm. then also around for the teams to be able to, to, um, to train. Some of them are synthetic, some of them, um, so for example, in the Lycée Classique in Abidjan, that's also uh, normal grass that okay. I was there yesterday. And it's really top tier. Um, they, they, they spent a lot of money and they made to make sure that the teams are as comfortable as possible. Um, some places, yes, it's it's astroturf, so it might not be ideal for them, but at least it's top tier training facilities. Uh, but to go back to the point of of the support that the the Black Stars yeah. are going to get, yeah. a lot of Ivorians also feel uh, Ghanaian. Uh, I they see. Feel close to Ghana, <laughs> you know. Um, there there is one tribe or a, a clan which is close to 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 the borders, and and they feel Ghanaian. So they'll tell you, oh, you're my, my Ghanaian brother or you're my Ghanaian sister. So <laughs> I feel like being in Abidjan will add also some of the, the local guys who come and support Ghana uh, as opposed to Egypt or even the, our two other uh, Lusophone um, speaking countries, um, Cape Verde and, mm. and Mozambique as well. So um, Ghana will be well supported. I think that they'll have everything to be able to perform well. Um, will be behind them, but they, like we said earlier, <laughs> the first game against Cape Verde is very important. They need to be able to win that game by hook and by crook, but we need to win that game. All right, John, thank you. Merci. Uh, 
On se voit, Merci. on se voit plus tard, non Ouais, c'est bon. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so that's John John Boafo is a sports analyst, marketing guru. He's based in Abidjan, and uh, we'll be seeing a lot more of him on 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 show. Of course, that's to start the Afcon Daily. We go deal with them a lot because if they're in day there, of course, some of the other guys will go there. So we go deal with them throughout the competition. This is a football made in Ghana for City TV. My name is Nathan Carl Gabi. Your fair yeah, I mean, to be my guest on the show. We go take some very quick break. If we come back, we go talk about the black stars. They miss the president before they fly out. We go hear what the president tell them. We go wrap up that discussion. Then we, later on, we go talk to Jeremy Frimpong, agent Jeremy Frimpong, Dutch footballer. They play for Germany. Um, he gets some very interesting projects he won't do for Ghana. We go discuss that one after this break. We will come back, make you no go anywhere. Welcome back. This is Football Made in Ghana for City TV. My name is Nathan Kau. You are Gabi Offer. Be my guest on the show earlier, John Boafo. He joined me via Zoom from Abidjan. Uh, he gave me some very interesting insights as to what they go on for the country. We will get more interesting insights. The competition they start Sunday, so as we start the Afcon Daily, more inside filler from Abidjan from the Black Stars camp. But before the break, I talked to the Black Stars right now that they go. But last night they meet the president, where the president, you know, give them some farewell dinner. It'd be jams. It'd be all, all, I mean, jams all around. Stone boy go there. Ah, anyway. boy. Ah, boy, yeah. yeah. You know. <laughs> vibes and corn. Vibes. Vibes. You know, vibes. You know, say, whatever happened with you for yeah. Mr. President before vibes. you go. Vibes, vibes, vibes. So that'd be, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be the president. If they meet the various dignitaries, the Black Stars players to line up for the back. That'd be the, the technical team. If they greet them, George Boateng, Chris Hutting, Masoud Dramani, then you know the guys but the dressing the, 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 the will be bad the, the polo no you know bad like that oh i mean brandon dear black stars black, uh -huh. uh, brandon but dear. i can't i can't you know see, you know see the number of logos they did uh, the the shirt top uh, uh, oh yeah well marketed national yeah treasure. well marketed hey if you are uh, sing that uh, oh yeah charlie oh, sing that oh, yeah, 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 i'm sure yeah. now invoice Oh, it's, it's the recover, it's the recover, recover, yeah. yeah. Because you know, rich the, where night day before the single tone, uh -huh. but let, uh, yeah, yes, they recover. The medical yeah, people better. for for take care. Of yeah, it better. I think I think boys they take in video be do memes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they do that. Nah, they do the they do the they do the girl dates. 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 So this with the black stars, yeah, pencil. You know, Gideon, the, and, and Gideon others. Mainz, so, yeah. Yeah. Ali but, you know, Everybody's right back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Daniel Amati. Yeah. So, uh, so guys, the president, group. the president said make the black stars end the drought. Mm. Charlie, pressure. Yeah. You see, and I like the fact say if you listen in Tar's speech, huh, he talks say he knows he be downtown. Yeah. It no go happen. We drought, they go end. It the, it go continue. Hey, but you know they believe. No, you know be sound they believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Paul, it be simple. We they go by numbers, we they go by performance, we they go mm -hmm. by what we did do in the last mm -hmm. edition. What? Even if you look at the last tournament we go, mm -hmm. from 2017 all the way to like now, you just see the clear retrogression of the team. Mm -hmm. Semi finals, run of 16 exit, group, group stage, stage exit. Mm -hmm. Is it another group stage exit incoming? You go guess what sometimes say maybe we don't go qualify. Hey. That'd be if we no change on our ways, uh, uh -huh. in terms of the, the football we they play, colours we they do, then other things we won't get into. So that make them go ended. I know the CCA will happen. Oh, me, I know the yeah. CCA will happen. And the thing we say, first things first, me, I always talk, say, if you build your, your game plan around your best player, and right now, who will be one of the best player? Or your best players. But right now, Pateno, they go some. Mm -hmm. And so, one of the best player, most high profile player, where he did from, be Kudus. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Kudus too, he get injury issues. So, if Kudus know they play, up to in top level, uh, mm -hmm. then who will score the goals? Mm -hmm. And on top of that, even you watch Kudus safe, as he did West Ham, how in goals they come, you watch for the Black Stars insider. Different players. The setup yeah. you know, be the same. You watch him go against Freiburg. Paqueta get the ball, no way he raise his head, where he just loop the ball. Because it's easy, Kudus, they make the run. Mm -hmm. Where he loop the ball, where Kudus get. You watch him goes against, um, in two goals against, uh, I think, uh, Wolf. Wolverhampton. Yeah. Yes, Wolverhampton. The two goals, it come in transition. Then concede corner kick. Then get the ball, no? Three passes. Then the ball, they net. Paqueta get the ball, move the ball. Where it take give Kudus? Where mm -hmm. Kudus score? In go against uh, Man United. Kobe Menu lose the ball. Kudus get the ball, it take give Paqueta. Paqueta lay the ball to Kudus because now Kudus they run into space. Mm -hmm. 
And Kudus, they interview him, we talk, say, they, he start, as soon as um, Bowen or Paqueta gets the ball, he starts running because he knows that they will find him. But Ghana here, he for fine people. He for fine people. <laughs> and I don't, I mean, I don't get a problem with that. <laughs> but I think we say, he, you know, you know, get the ball away, they run now. Yeah. Who will find them? Uh, that be the issue. Who will find them? That's why me and the talk say, the, the tournaments will go, a lot will depend on, uh, on a success. A lot mm -hmm. will depend on Salisu, then Majida Shimeru. Mm -hmm. Because Salisu, one of defenders, or even the best passer from the back. Him be the best passer, short range, mid range, long mm -hmm. range. Mm -hmm. Go feel play the ball long, make a Yankee run, they get the ball, then score. Same with Joseph Pinto, same with Antoine Semenyon. He go feel play out from the back. The way Ghana they attempt uh, with they try to do, we know the source. Because when a when a friendly game against um, Liberia, it be three right footed players, defenders where we line them up in the three three man back back mm -hmm. line. We now the 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 cohesion you know be check. So Sally Sudier, he be one of the best defender. And on top of that, he one of the best passer. So back line, as he did there, no, a lot go depend on now. Mm -hmm. Then you come midfield, uh, Majida Shimero, a lot go depend on now. Because if you take Majida Shimero from inside, uh, that why me the beam say rich more lamp today inside. Mm -hmm. Because if you take Majida Shimero from inside, Elisha also no go give you that kind passing range. Um Sally Sameno will give you that kind passing range. But by Grisu, the same. So if these people know if you give you that kind of options, sir, you forget somebody where you go give you that option or that quality. And it, that one, you go get down with Majida Shimura. I just hope say you know go hurt because it will be very injury prone. Mm -hmm. So a lot will depend on Majida Shimura because as good as uh, uh, Richmond Lamte Day, I know sure say the Black Stars uh, technical people then go and trust them with make it start with, 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 with a starting yeah. unit. I know sure say. A day plus them share enough where it will generate enough trust where they will talk say okay right now at Majida Shimono they see top or he get hit or he hit so we could bring Richmond Lante in no I'm not sure say get that level of trust yet I see. so a lot will depend on Majida Shimero. I see a lot will depend on Majida Shimero. and that be how we are the CCA we will do because right now Kudus as it is day no it no be fit like that so I know we feel put a lot of hope on them. Uh huh. So me at the CCA, Charlie, it go be it go be struggle. It, it, go, it go hard. It, honestly, if somebody tells you, oh yeah, we go sport there, we go sport there, the president there, he will be optimistic. That be your job. Uh huh. Yeah, that be your job. The, the president there will be optimistic. Mm -hmm. That's only they die cry. Yeah, they go talk. Yeah. Oh, it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. And you we. And you we. Yeah. There's hope. There's hope. But me they me no say realistically. No. Uh -huh. So what if we talk there? Due diligence there you do. But in reality, nah, the last time go has to go with really Make an add to the Richmond Lamb to bit uh -huh. on Yao Touch on. You say Hilton, they ask Hilton that question as to why he no introduce Lamb to because he'd be friendly. Then um, Namibia um, it gives you an opportunity mm -hmm. to try yeah. other players. Where he talks, he, he still wanted to have a defensive midfield on the pistol. Because then we start with what? Babai Drisu mm -hmm. and Elisha Wusu. Yeah. Yeah. This is like your proper DMC mm -hmm. they start with. There's no ball progressor in the team. And if you if you watch her, yeah, you tried Ashimori, so you know what he go feel bring to the team. Lamte be the newest player you add. Mm -hmm. You've not really integrated him yeah. into the team, so you don't really know what he go feel bring. And I felt the game against Namibia, that be the time like he for introduce him. Okay. Make me see what he go feel do. And you see, that be what we go ex we for expect we from uh, expect from Hilton. Say he they go set up very defensively against the teams with the goal play. Because clearly that be how he won't go with. And it go be in moments of a game where we go need somebody of that quality, make you no shock, he say he no go introduce them. Because clearly, he did look at the brighter side, which he, the, the thing say, not allowing your opponents to score. So he still go keep up in very compact shape and still be having two DMs or whatever he want to do. So, me, they are no shock. And I'm, I'm not go shock, say, Lamsey himself, he no go start. The oh, start, 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 start. I mean, he know if he didn't go play any of yeah, the games. Yeah, me, I'm not go shock. He, I'm not go shock. Together with the other local players with them, called Jonathan Soa. Because it'd be typical of we say we go call local players, um, we go carry them go tournament. We know we give them even two minutes safe. What we take do, Banye? <laughs> what he did? Um, yeah, see, you, 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 you get take field what, we, what we take do, Max Olabikwe. At the time where we carry him go uh, Cameroon, he was one of the hottest players for Olympics. What we carry go, Richard, after we right now, his stomach make like, <laughs> he know the <they> feature. <laughs> then goalkeeping department, yeah, then he know be the best. But at the time we carry him go that African for Cameroon, he was one of the best goalkeepers for Hasselfoot. But somebody go talk say the the 
in the color level. be the recognition of mm -hmm. the hard work. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. So me, I'm not gonna shock say this local place. Then we'll go there with Okay, so, and the bit. thing to be saying, when they hear, again, they follow Majida Shimeru and um, 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 Salisu. Yeah. Because if I be coach, I be coach for Egypt, Re 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 Victor. Mm -hmm. If I be coach for Cape, Cape Verde, if yeah. I be coach for Mozambique, uh -huh. it be simple. Pay attention to Ghana on the wings. I see. You neutralize Ghana. You neutralize Ghana. So <coughs> that's why it depend a lot on Majid Ashimiro and uh, Mohamed Salisu. So say then they go create centrally. Because they one opponents there, they go load up on the wings. Because that's where one of the best players all day. Kudus, it they on the right. It they play on the right side. Mm -hmm. Antoine Semenyon, it they play best on the right side. Enyaki Williams, it they play best on the right side. Jordan you they play best on the right side. But sometimes if you play on the opposite side, then you go whipping crosses, the entrance. But you look at most of one uh, when I play best players. Then when they need that side, you go bench Osman Bukhari, the same, Joseph Pinto, the same. So if I be opposing coach, that where me I will pay attention to. Okay. You know, he very well say um, Chris Hutin, and then he be very defensive minded. And the only cre creative outlet it be their wings. Centrally, like we see against Namibia, you are playing against Namibia. You they play against Namibia for <laughs> Babayara Stadium. Then they play two DMs. But guys, where they know the field progress the ball with speed. Guys, they know the field play uh, pass where it will break up their defense. Then it go feel split zones. It go feel break through the lines. So it be very difficult. Say you go see, me and go see say Chris Hutton they play a bit more expansive football. So it will depend on the wings. But that one too, they make it predictable. Mm -hmm. They make it very predictable. So if for trust, <coughs> say a guy like um, Majid Ashimero go feel do the job and play him. Um, with next to Baba Idrisu or Sally Summit, then I sh that one they go give me them say yes. But, we go feel do but, something. But for you, know, the two DM move there. Oh no no, no the two DM move there. No, Mr. Kwa, quickly, we the beg you to. I the beg him. I know see this show. He the watch. Or if you know the watch, if you go go for. <coughs> make it take Jordan. Are you offset piece duties? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With nice the beg him. Like yeah. that thing. I like make Jordan no play free kick. And no, he's no, 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 corner. No, no, then no. Jordan they he didn't back. Then he they go take the corner. <laughs> make who strike the ball. The, you see, hey, Jordan the force in terms of striking mm -hmm. the ball. Why is he behind set piece duty? Take him off. Yeah. So and you see, sometimes they, okay, so now who make you play? Are they come? Uh, make aside these two examples. Mm -hmm. If they carry on a game against Angola, where you go play for them at home? Mm -hmm. The one one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then when a game against Portugal for the World Cup, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you see the way Hutton set up defensively, mm -hmm. and then where transition very good counter attacks. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like. Hilton actually know what he wants to do, but he no go do. Mm -hmm. Because at the talk so I look at the Angola game. See the goal way, um, I think it was Osman Bukari. Yeah, we Osman Bukari. Where he scored the goal. Yeah. You see the transition with yeah. um, the sequence of play? Williams. Yeah. yeah. Good. Inyaki take the ball, give pace. Very good. Cut back. It'd be brilliant. We set up this. Then we know they play anything. We're playing trash. But we were able to, 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 to capitalize on their spaces where mm -hmm. they left for there. When we get draw. Portugal, then we know they play well. We set up very defensively. We managed to, to, to get very un uh, unlikely for us. Then we concede some goal where we know for concede. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I feel like Huti actually know the antidote to this team. But clearly he no go do. If we listen them against, um, <coughs> as we go to the talk spots, where mm -hmm. they them about what be the best position for Mohamed Kudus. What's he mm -hmm. talking about? <laughs> he said Kudus was 10. 10. Uh -huh. Make it no count try that thing where West Ham they do. With uh, more as they do with Mohamed Kudus, uh -huh. make it no go try for the AFCON. Ah, why? No, it no go work on the flank. Uh, the yeah. false nine. No, I'm talking about the no, false but, nine. But, 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 on the flank, on the flank, fair uh, yeah, enough. Yeah, but but because Western, Western, even the black they deploy Kudus as a force because I don't say it be bowing the play through the middle, then yeah. Kudus off the right. Yeah, but yes. In then games, Pakistan I see games the where they start. They be fluid. On. Yeah, then for yeah. them they be fluid. For instance, the, the game against Man U, the West Ham game against yeah. Man U, then starts then it be Kudus. Bowen, Paqueta. First half, they struggle. Man, you forbid them cry when they waste all those chances. Second half, when they will more switch. Yeah. It, it knows they Paqueta, it recognizes the Paqueta they struggle because mm -hmm. Paqueta no be winger. He they play centrally mm -hmm. as a number 10. Mm -hmm. But he push him so they go be the number 9, false 9. Mm -hmm. Wait, now they see top. Because Bowen, he is starting career off the wings. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So he be comfortable for that side. So as he made that simple change, simple change, you. 
They don't change the personnel, don't change any tactics. They just change, they just change them position. Just one swap. But you know that. See the way man you make out. And the thing be say for Chris Hilton, this he be uh, oh, sorry, it be basic. Uh -huh. You be a defensive coach. So the 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 traits, the moments, the areas where you go fit get outlets, you know. If we take advantage of them, then practice them in training over and over and over again. Yeah, talk, Transition. Man, you, know, you watch West Ham, them are goals they scored this December. Could you score four goals in six games? Yeah. Most of them came in transition. Yeah, true. So when I transition, it will be on point. Passing, passes will be on point. When I crosses the free and the free kicks, set pieces, we will take advantage of these things mm. because that will be the only outlet you go fit get from from an attacking sense, on an attacking standpoint. Your your free kicks and your corner kicks, it will take advantage of them. And number two, the passes when you they work your way through transition, the passes will be on point. So many times, and you can always make run. Yeah. Then the pass it go locate homeboy, you know the reach. The pass be over over hit, or it go pass from different place square. So the passes will be on point. Take advantage of free kicks mm -hmm. and, the, and set pieces, free kicks and corner kicks. Then we'll be fine. And transition, it will be a bit purposeful. Can I get ball now? Then I don't know for some strange reason. We we know they push forward again. Meanwhile, space is there. You 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 regain possession. The, the opposing team, they commit more men uh, mm -hmm. forward. Space is the numbers no be high like that. But for some reason, Ghana no go push the pace. That's why I mean, I like a player like Enes Niyama. Because you always go push the pace. You always go attacking in your opponent. In about, so, me, that, them the things where me and the lookout for, say, um, Chris Hilton, just go, go, go pay attention to him. Mm -hmm. And make it, that be true. And make it sure, say, he go be reactive. Every day, you go watch Chris Hilton, Black Stars gameplay. First half, basa. Second half, then they see some improvement. So every day, be I ask my, my body, say, why you for wait? Why you for I mean, wait? First half, wait, you won't see how wait, things no, they go. If you don't see how things they go, then you didn't go score you like three before you go say jack. Tournament. And this thing, we see some before. Yeah. Ah, you know they remember, you know they carry the Kotoko Alali. Kotoko go Alali, 20 you. minutes, then they score, then concede four goals. Exactly. Tournaments, you know, get them like that. You know, get them like right that. Now, I should say, even Kiverdi Sef, mm -hmm. you don't look at the Black Stars when a game against Comoros and when a game uh, against Namibia. Mm -hmm. Ah, the players go begin to lick them on lips. They go watch the Black Stars like Black Stars. I mean, we, <laughs> we could feel beat them. And the thing we say, we could feel beat them. Ingabi, they talk, no. It could give them confidence. So they yeah. will attack with. And me, I'm not going to surprise you. The teams we will play on, sorry to cut you out. The teams we will play on, they're going to dominate your possession. Maybe we take even Egypt out. But Kevedi them Mozambique. Mm -hmm. Then go see a lot of the ball, then go beat we. And we for, we for, we for not make them, then, then, then see a lot of the ball because it'd be huge disrespect. Mm -hmm. In terms of quality, <laughs> no. In terms of quality, we get past them. No, but the point is, say, you, you, for, you see, but it be one thing, it be say you, you get the quality, you but get, show, yeah, but you, you, you for know, show the you quality. That be the thing. And the thing to be, and, and yeah, you for you show, but you go, for, yeah. you for, you for the, that where the coaching they come in. If we put the player in a position to excel, it about if we put the player in a position to excel. So and if we put the team in a position to excel, why you the play could lose then giddy 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 giddy. You know they play. Um, a guy where it will link the midfield uh, from the uh, defense to the midfield and from the midfield to the attack. In somebody like Majid Ashimero, mm -hmm. then they play two DMs, Salis um, uh, Samed, then Elisha Wusu, or Salis Samed, then the Baba Ibusu. Guys, when in the field progress the ball. Okay. No, dis no disrespect to them, but that be how it did. Them to them, I profile that some profiles know they complement each other. See West Ham, Edson Alvarez there. Who they next to him? James Ward Prowse. Yeah. A deep line a, a playmaker, creative player. That be how they build a team. They, they make the, the team source when in transition. Okay. So that be how we for do them. So Chris Hilton, if we be proactive, small, you know, for be reactive because if be tournament, if you go be reactive, you go wait, concede, go one or two goals before you go react. You know, get then second chances where you go if you score the goals. Okay. And the teams then watch we you know. They don't say right now on a confidence they know. Then go attack we uh, f right from the get go. So when I start for be better. It no be so hard, Charlie. If one of the things that me and the talk, no. oh, they, we, we don't go reach there. All make, right. Make we, we all no forget, say. We forgo break. Hilton in contract actually the end after the... Ah! <laughs> so hey! Sorry! Make you all no forget. Hey! So with the background. With the back. Make he just do Charlie, it. go give your last. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I mean, the Black Stars, yeah, they, get, they get plenty things they for resolve. 
before the tournament. If they start this weekend, Ghana, they play Cape Verde in the my first Group D encounter. This will be football made in Ghana. We're going to take some very, very quick break. If we come back out, we go switch tracks slightly. We go talk to Jeremy Frame Point agents. We go find out what be the project where they won't do for Ghana. So say they to they go for help young footballers for this country. We go come back right here. Make we not go anywhere. Welcome back. This be football made in Ghana for City TV. My name be Nathan Kwal. Very interesting Afcon conversations between me and uh, my previous guest, Gabi Offer and Yao Minta Ella. We speak to John Boafo via Zoom from Abidjan. Like I talked, the Afcon they start this weekend. Ghana go play on the 14th. Then they play Cape Verde in the opening or the my opening go be encounter. So we go see what go happen. Of course, supporting the Afcon uh, go be a one in house show. Uh, AFCON daily, a day on every weekday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. We go discuss the AFCON, high points, low points. We go do some top-notch analysis, have some very interesting conversations around the competition. So join me for City TV every weekday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. AFCON daily, right for this network top. All right, make I go the Zoom top. Make I talk to um, uh, Jeremy Frimpong in agents, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Lemay, Jeffrey Lemay. Uh, if they join me via Zoom, we're going to talk about Jeffrey, uh, Jeremy Frimpong in time for Leverkusen. Of course, then, like I talked a few months ago, then the rumor be say he go switch can play for Ghana, but it no happen. He commits to the Dutch national team. Well, we're going to talk a bit more about Jeremy Frimpong in off the field project where he won't put together, take assist young footballers for this country and other places. So um, let me get to Jeffrey. Jeffrey Lemaire, if you can hear me, good afternoon. Hello. Hello, Nathan. Can you hear me? I can. How are you doing, Jeff? I'm OK. How about yourself? Yes, yes, yes. I'm fine. Many, many thanks uh, for joining us. And uh, how is Jeremy doing? I mean, he's had a great time in Germany so far. How is uh, the Bundesliga treating Jeremy? Well, they're treating him really well. And he's enjoying it. And he's fine. He's just prepping for the for the second half of the season. So, mm. yeah, he's just on fire, really. I see. I mean, um, the team Leverkusen have been playing some wonderful football and the, the Chabi Alonso, and Jeremy has been excelling. When you look at his performance in the first half of the season, if you had to pick out, let's say, one or two games where you felt he was absolutely brilliant, which games would you choose that are some of the best you've seen Jeremy play so far up until this point? Um, the thing with Jeremy is that he's very consistent, literally. Like, okay. uh, I can't really uh, pinpoint which games, but he's been very consistent because he likes the big games. So the big games like Leipzig, Bayern Munich, Dortmund, he just show out, really. And the thing, the thing with him is that like, he always got a point to prove and making mm. sure that he proves himself to Xabi Alonso, somebody that's <laughs> been a legend of the game. So, yeah. yeah. I see. I see. Wonderful. We'll talk about the, the off-the-field project in a second. But one final question. Um, have the offers started coming in? Are clubs reaching out? <laughs> Are the big teams interested in signing Jeremy Frimpong this month or maybe a little later in the transfer window? Um, at the end of the day, uh, performance speaks for itself. Okay. Uh, I can't really disclose too much when it comes to any interest. But at the end of the day, like, <laughs> if you're playing well, People will be interested. So, mm. yeah. I see. Wonderful. Let's talk about the, 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 his, the initiative that Jeremy is putting together. Um, what was the name of the initiative and how did it come about? Why has he decided very early in his career to try and, and help other people who are not active in football or just try to, to help in this general football space? Um, he, he, he felt that uh, it was the right opportunity for him to start this project called Pathways. Okay. And the reason why he started this project is because he got an opportunity to, to become a footballer, but not everybody gets the opportunity to become a footballer. And literally, once you've been told that uh, you can't be a footballer or the, what's called, you hit a brick wall, you're mm. all by yourself. Mm. And he felt like, oh, uh, I, I'm a... I'm a a player that's got a voice, let me start an initiative by uh, creating a project called Pathway to basically direct the next gen of athletes to the right uh, direction and show them, that, show them that football is not the only way to, to succeed in this life. Mm, I see. So, in, in, um, so has the project taken off? Um, in, and in which countries will we see the Pathway project being implemented? Yeah, so uh, the... 
we want to implement the, the project literally globally. Okay. But we've picked uh, four places so far. So the first launch is in Ghana. Okay. Then it's going to be the, the Netherlands, UK, and then Germany. But okay. the whole aim is to go globally. I see. Eventually. I see. So how, how, will it, how will it work out? Can you just explain to me the modalities? When do you plan to launch? How will you get these footballers who have not made it to support? How will it work out? How will you choose those to support and those you are not able to support? Yeah, so uh, we, we partner up with a company called Remotely. Okay. And Remotely, they outsource uh, jobs uh, to, to the fellow Ghanaians and... When we approach them about this proje uh, project, they uh, they aligned with our ethos and they basically took over. So the way the way basically athletes uh, apply for for this project is by just going on joinpathways.com okay. and literally from there uh, remotely will get the athletes in and then they'll basically take their skill set that that stands out mm -hmm. and try get them into the right fields and stuff like that. I see. So, so effectively, you just want to help footballers have another life away from football because maybe they couldn't really make it as professionals. Yeah, yeah. so it's basically to, just to create opportunities because at the end of the day, life is all about creating opportunities. Okay. It's like me being an agent today. It was an opportunity that was given to me. Okay. You know what I mean? And what Jeremy's trying to do is to give uh, people the opportunity because... When I was younger, I wanted to be a footballer, and it didn't happen. And I, I didn't know what direction I was going. So I went to university not knowing what I wanted to do in life. Then I, was, I, then I became a restaurant manager thinking that that was my passion. Then luckily, I got an opportunity to become a football agent. And now I'm living, uh, living my, my dream. So Jeremy just wants to give people the same, same initiative that he allowed me to become his okay. agent to nice. other people. Mm. I see. That's wonderful. I mean, I love the fact that these opportunities are there. You make a good point about life being about opportunities because once those opportunities are there, you can always find something else to do and, and make yourself extremely beneficial to the football ecosystem. So you mentioned that a project will be in Ghana, England, the Netherlands, you get global. So in terms of Ghana, when do you plan to kickstart and how do you plan to roll out here? No, so uh, so it's been launched already and okay. it's already been kickstarted. So people have been applying and people have just been following the uh, the proce procedure that uh, Remolia has set out and R Remolia are doing a, a great job to assist us uh, on this project. So, yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, finally, I mean, you're you're speaking to us, but when do we expect to see Jeremy in Ghana? I'm sure he would love to see for himself how the project is rolling out. So when do we expect to see Jeremy coming to Ghana? Anytime soon? Uh, he, he, he mentioned that uh, there's a possibility he could come this year. So okay. uh, we will we'll notify uh, the right people about it and then he'll make the appearance. <laughs> I see. Because he's, he's not been to Ghana. It's, I think last time uh, we came to Ghana, uh, Ghana was like in 2010. Okay. And that, that's a he, long time he, ago. He, that's he about 13, 14 years ago. Yeah, he, he misses he misses the place because uh, <laughs> like he miss he misses. So mm. he says when um, hopefully the, uh, this year if he gets the chance he'll be here. I see, wonderful. Um, um, Jeffrey, before I let you go, you mentioned a website. Can you just mention the website again and how people can apply to be part of the Pathways Project? At least for those watching us in Ghana. Yeah, so there's two there's two ways to basically apply for the project. So uh, you can go on Instagram and go on Join Pathways, um, uh, go on the page, and then follow the link down below. Or you can go straight to the website and uh, type in joinpathway.com and then follow the, the thing here. Mm. Just the one... protocols on the website. OK, all right. Just finally, I said it was my last question, but this question just quickly came to mind. Is the Pathways project open to those who were, let's say, attempting to make it in football, or is open to people who are generally interested in working in football, of course? Um, away from playing football actively on the pitch as a professional. Yeah, so the the pathway project is is aimed at young, just young young people okay. itself. So any anyone, even 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 people that maybe just kick the ball once or twice, <laughs> it's, it's aimed at them. So you, know, you just go on it, and then um, the uh, the right people will just be there to mm. support you and send you out to to the right pathway that you feel that you want to go into.
Okay. All right. Thank you so, so much, Jeffrey. Jeffrey Lemaire, we appreciate your time. And uh, our regards Thank to you, Jeremy. And, and hopefully when he comes down, we hope to have a sit down with him and, and have a great conversation. No, no, definitely, definitely, definitely. All right. Uh, thank you for having me, and I Welcome. really appreciate it, guys. All right. Thank you so much. Jeffrey Lemaire is uh, agent of footballer Jeremy Frimpong. So that be Jeffrey Lemaire, Jeremy Frimpong, agent. Jeremy Frimpong, they live by Leverkusen. Very hot right now. Very consistent. They play game the Dutch national team, but of course, they get Ghanaian parents. In two parents be Ghanaian. But just say they play give Holland, but in root still day here. So that'd be why they do the Pathways project. They go come down or they start already. So if you'd be very interested, like you here, go Instagram, join Pathways, or you know, go fit find them on my website, sign up and see which opportunity you go fit take. So say you two, you go fit join the football echo space and make something useful in that echo space. That'll be how we go in today in episode of Football Made in Ghana. My name be Nathan Kwa. My guest for today, Gabi uh, Ofer, Yare J. Minta, Jeffrey Lemed. He, uh, he just left the Zoom earlier on the show. We get John Boafo to join me from Cote d'Ivoire. We'll catch you uh, on another episode. By the time by that time the episode will come, then the AFCON start. We'll go discuss more Black Star stuff, more AFCON-related stuff. So enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. We'll go catch you same time next week. <laughs>